up guys serendipity here and today we are playing call of duty black ops cold war today's video we're playing cartel the map cartel not a cartel we're playing the map cartel and the game mode is domination this is my favorite map so far in the call of duty black ops series but unfortunately it's not that too great of a map there is some spots like where the little drug sort of farm is where you can get caught off guard you can't see enemies all too well there's some nice hiding places uh, well, honestly this is a campus dream this map there is some nice hiding places where you can hide see across the whole map even in a nice little watchtower you can see across the whole map the whole middle part of the map there's three lanes in this game uh in this map like there is in any other Treyarch map the cinematic entrance is absolutely badass there's a helicopter one for the other team and for this one yeah, it's a little jeep looking entrance we're running around with the Krieg 6 at the moment one of my favorite weapons in black ops cold war just before we start guys though if you like the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new the time to kill on it is absolutely amazing and it really packs a punch from medium to long distance range not too sure right now if it's an assault rifle or if it's a submachine gun it's the default class that i'm using and it's it, watch just watch how dominant i am with it see how fast i killed that guy i didn't even i don't even think that was a headshot just absolutely destroyed him we're gonna cap b flag in domination i always cap b flag i don't cap the a flag or the c flag wherever you spawn i prefer to go straight to b and that just alerted me that there's enemies around because i stepped into the zone end up getting my second kill but i died by the spawn on their spawn on a flag unfortunate there could have had a nice little play there's going to be a bit of a trade here between b flag as you'll notice i get the stun and i'm trying to find him but i can't see him because of this little bush part and yeah none of my teammates could find him i don't even think i got the assist then we kept the flag ran away instantly ran away from it because you don't want to be standing there it's a death trap this guy terrible aiming by me here just terrible i end up dying from behind i feel like i would have got that kill if i didn't get sniped from behind pretty good snipe there definitely better than me my sniping has been absolutely trash at the moment unfortunately the more i play black ops cold war the more excited i am for the launch of it it comes out november 13th i believe and guys trust me this game is going to be it looks absolutely amazing on the playstation 4 i'm not unfortunately i'm not going to get the playstation 5 on launch day as i missed out but I am going to get the third shipment of it, so come around January 1st, hopefully, maybe a bit later. And I'm really excited to see what it will look like on the next generation consoles. Right now, it just looks absolutely amazing. It's smooth gameplay. It's, you know, it's a good game. It's what you expect from Call of Duty. It's really arcadey kind of type style at the moment. That's what a lot of people are complaining about the movement on it is kind of like ice skating but honestly there's nothing wrong with it in my opinion it's smooth it's the transitioning is fluid i love it it's one of my favorite call of duties to play at the moment really really is high intensity and the field of view is something to get used to i've, I've ended up dropping it from 120 to 100 because my shitty eyes can't see that far and on a big tv it made it really hard for me so i dropped it to 100 it's made it a lot easier for me and I'm really excited to cramp out the gameplay videos here. When the game comes out and when my PlayStation 5 comes, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to provide very good quality gameplays for you guys. Right now, this is coming straight off my PlayStation 4. So, you know, it's maxed out at like 1080p. I've up uploaded it to YouTube in 4K, but it's not real 4K. It's not true 4K. It's upscaled 4K. But 1080p videos, not too bad for an, you know a first day day one PlayStation 4 1080p. It's like eight years ago. Not too bad of a PlayStation. It overheats and dies on me. Unfortunately, I tried to stream one day. It lasted about half an hour before it overheated and died. So I'm excited to see for the PlayStation 5 to see how their streaming software kind of thing will work out, and if it will stream in 4K because my TV is 4K. And the gaming will be in 4K. I can't wait for that. I've never experienced 4K gaming. I'm such a little big noob. So yeah, you guys with the PC Master Race can little me about not experiencing 4K gaming. But once the PlayStation 5 comes out, I'll be able to experience that myself. And maybe even 8K if I save up for an 8K TV. That's like 20 grand. That's a bit ridiculous. But anyway, I'll be able to enjoy the 4K experience. 
Hopefully I'll be able to stream in 4K and upload videos in true 4K, not this upscaled version of 4K. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you haven't realized, there's three dots on your, on your YouTube screen. If you press that, you can turn the quality of your video higher. For some reason, it uploads the video in 480p. That's not what I upload the video to, though. I upload these videos as a 4K format because my introduction is 4K, so that will be true 4K, but the gameplay itself will be 1080p and like upscale 4K, I guess. I don't know how to describe that. But at least if you press those three dots, you can change the quality and that will make your viewing experience way better than what YouTube thinks because for some reason YouTube automatically has it on 480p. Don't know why. Don't know how to change that. Don't know if that will change in future when I, you know, get obviously the PlayStation 5 and start uploading videos from that. Well, not from that. I send it to myself, email to myself, do these commentaries over them. Hopefully the PlayStation 5 records them in 4K, which I'm sure the PlayStation 4 Pro does. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. I don't own a PS4 Pro, but correct me if I'm wrong. Does it screen record on 4K? Or should I just get a game catcher card if I want that 4K? Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if I should just get a game catcher card or if I just should use the PlayStation 5's inbuilt software. So far I'm liking the PlayStation 4's inbuilt software, even though it's like capped at 720p to um, to record. It Still, when I upload it to YouTube and I change my own settings from... Because on my phone I, have, I can watch it in 1080p, it looks amazing, it looks good. And on the TV I can put it into 4K and it's still, you know, it looks amazing. So guys, little tip there when you're watching my videos, hit those three dots, change the quality of the video yourself and you'll see a much more improvement from the standard YouTube's 480p. Now I'm going to stop talking about that, it's a little rant. Get back into the gameplay here, it was half time, now I started again, tried the cat B flag, didn't work out this time. We're winning 104 to 64, so I didn't mind that it didn't work out. My teammates are going to do the work for me. I've got stim, didn't even realise that. Also I didn't notice, but you guys probably already noticed, I'm using the Milano 821 at the moment. This is one of my favourite submachine guns in Black Ops Cold War so far. It packs a punch, it kills them, it's a short distance gun, it's a submachine gun, it kills them from ranges from here to like the other end of the building. Absolutely amazing to use, I love it. Treyarch do an astounding job at making really good submachine guns and this one is going to be one of the most OP ones they've probably ever made. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. It's nothing like the MXC, MC, whatever it was called from Black Ops 2, but it's on par with it. It's catching up. With that being said, I'm super excited to see what else they bring into the game. Currently, I'm on level 40. In this gameplay, I probably was not on level 40. I just basically started playing the game. Everyone was pretty much trash like I was. But currently, I'm on level 40, so I can't wait to see what I've unlocked. I haven't really noticed too much. I've just been sniping at the moment. But when I find out what weapons I've unlocked, I'll go through, find one that I really like using, and I'll upload that to YouTube. I'll show you guys pretty much the best weapons to use in the game. That's gonna, I'm going to give you my advice on what's the best weapons to use in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I really got to get into best class setup videos because there's a lot of knowledge that I have that I can share onto you guys. You know, I've been playing Call of Duty for the last 12 years. I have a lot of experience. I know what to use, how to use it, when to use it, etc., etc. The only thing I'm not good at is public stomping, absolutely killing everybody like a machine, like White Boy 7 Street getting those Moabs, the Enemy quickest nuclear in the game. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't get it. Actually, to be honest, I don't think I've ever got a nuke. I, <laughs> embarrassing enough, I think the only nuke I've gotten was in a hacked lobby in Modern Warfare 2, and it wasn't even like me showing my skill. It was just... The guy that made the lobby just made it so you can get a nuke. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. Never got a nuke. But I have experience in this game and I know what to do. And I know I can contribute to the community by giving you guys information that other people can probably give you as well. But at least I can give you more information and more hindsight into it from a guy that's experienced this game in a much more casual sort of way. So guys, my first piece of advice is to change your button layout from default to tactical. You probably already knew this. If you didn't, go ahead, do it. Basically, what this means is your R3 button will become your sliding button or your crouching button. And your circle button will become your melee button. And this will mean that you can slide around much easier on the map. It used to be, back in the day, Black Ops 2, used to be the way to drop shot. You just 
just hold the R3 button and you drop shot. Nowadays, that doesn't work at all in Call of Duty Cold War. Drop shooting in this is completely gone. When you drop, even if you're holding your aim down sight button, when you drop, it will just stop aiming down sights. It's annoying and frustrating. We got the win. We ended up smashing them. 200 to 73. What an absolute dominant performance. This guy went on a roll. Probably hacking. Nah, he's not hacking. But what a dominant performance, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down anything you want down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, thank you so much. If you want more advice, hit me up on my social medias. They'll be in the description down below. Thank you for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.